Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Loving Keto, and another segment of Keto Cooking with Ron. Well, today we're going to be making a chicken crust pizza. Who doesn't love pizza? Oh boy, pizza has been absolutely one of my favorite foods over the years. But they do pack a lot of carbs and a lot of calories, no matter where you get your pizza from. And uh, so we decided to make our own chicken crust pizza today. Now, we did make this pizza before in the past, but we didn't film out this particular recipe. So what you'll need for this recipe is uh, a pound of chicken meat. And uh, if you don't have chicken, you can get canned chicken. And if you don't have a specific, like, like I get the, the ground chicken, and I'll show you the picture and the photograph and the video when we start filming this. But uh, you'll need a uh, pound of uh, chicken, ground chicken, or canned chicken, or if you don't have either or, and you have a couple of pieces of chicken breast, you can slice them up and process it through your food processor. And then um, and to, to combine it, we'll use one egg, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, a little bit of uh, mozzarella cheese, and for ingredients, we're gonna put the uh, Italian seasoning, and we're going to be putting in the garlic powder. And then once we form the pizza into a uh, pizza pie, we'll bake it off in the oven at 400 for 15 minutes, pop it out, it should be nice and golden brown by that time. And when we pop it out, when, we cook, when it cools down a little bit, I'll show you what the bottom of it looks like when it's all completed. And then I'll add the pizza sauce and the toppings. So for today's choice of toppings, I'm gonna to be adding uh, onions, peppers, and uh, some black olives, and of course the mozzarella and Parmesan cheese and the pizza sauce. Now the pizza sauce, I got a little bit of leftover sauce that I used from the last time I made a pizza. And we're gonna be using the Ramos pizza sauce. And the reason why I love that particular sauce is because it's really got a really good flavor. And the sauce has um, very low in the macros. I think it's like about 40 calories per uh, tablespoon or something like that, or maybe a half a cup. But I'll put the macros in, on the timeline and uh, from the back of the uh, sauce jar. But it, it's very good sauce, it's very, very good for keto. And uh, you know, if you're doing uh, carnivores and, and you're not eating any plant-based, I mean, you could make a, a pasta pizza and uh, maybe at some point down the road I'll make one of those, but they're very, very uh, easy to make. Now this particular recipe comes from a woman called, uh, I don't even actually know what her name is, but. Uh, her YouTube channel is uh, Keto Focus. She's got a lot of great recipes on there for keto, and I've been following her for quite a while now, uh, mostly just for the recipe part of it. But uh, she's given me this idea and inspired me to create this recipe. So if you just follow along with what I'm doing, you should be fine. So are you ready to make a pizza? Let's get right to it, and we'll make a pizza. So at this point, I'm gonna stop the video. I'm gonna put the camera down to the bowl and show you how I assemble it all together and mix everything all together. And uh, hopefully you have a good pizza like I'm having today. But today is a Friday and it's icy outside. And I thought, well, what better way to make a pizza today? And uh, so let's get right to it. Oh yeah, by the way, remember sharing is caring. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and share and subscribe to that button up there. You, you know you know the drill. And uh, it helps other people know when I post videos like this one. And it also helps YouTube to know that I'm putting out good content that you really enjoy. So let's uh, go ahead and make the pizza and enjoy it. And uh, I'll, maybe I'll talk a little bit over the video with a little bit of Italian music and feel like you're in Italy. But uh, I'm not I'm not Italian, I'm a French, but I enjoy Italian food and I enjoy all foods. But being on a low carb weight loss journey now, I'm making everything healthy and a lot of times I'm making everything from scratch now because uh, you get better quality foods and you know what you're putting into your mouth and you're being responsible for your health. And uh, nobody can be responsible for your health but you. So anyways, let's get right to it. Remember, caring and sharing. For this, uh, to make the uh, chicken crust pizza, we're gonna need a mixing bowl, some ground chicken. This, this is ground chicken breast from Purdue. I happened to bought this brand because it was on sale that particular week. The spices, we're gonna be putting in a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. One egg to bind, Italian seasoning by McCormick's. We use about a teaspoon, and then we're gonna be using a little bit of garlic powder, about a teaspoon of that. And this is all to taste, okay? And then for your cheeses, the choice of cheeses for today. A brand new bag of mozzarella cheese from Market Basket. Any, any brand is fine. And then we're gonna be using Parmesan cheese. Now her recipe calls for grated Parmesan cheese, but I ended up getting this because that's all I could find. 
Now, I didn't feel like looking through a um, pile of cheeses when this is right in front of me. And I've used this before for this recipe. So you should be fine if that's all you get. But if you could get the grated kind already grated, then, then that's even probably better. It should be heating at 450 degrees. So you just take your chicken and put it in a big bowl like that. So, so we're gonna add Italian seasoning in. This, it doesn't make any difference what order you put all this in because it's all gonna get mixed in anyways. And and again, there's no right or wrong answer what you put in over here for uh, spices. It's entirely, entirely up to you. I have a uh, one teaspoon measuring uh, spoon that I use a lot. Just dump it in. And I'm usually kind of just a dump and go guy. That's what I that's what, what I do. And it, and I don't make anything too spicy. I don't like spicy foods because they um, uh, raise a lot of havoc with my stomach, with my acid reflux. So I got to be very, very careful with spices. So that's why you don't see me use a lot of spices. So that was the uh, garlic powder we just put in and the uh, Italian seasoning for flavoring. And then we're gonna put in a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Probably about a half a teaspoon. Just eyeballing it a little bit. Again, just, just like I'm doing. This is all to taste. This will get all mixed in it anyhow. And I, I typically, if I wasn't doing a recipe, like a following a recipe, recipe to the letter, I uh, would be uh, just kind of like dump and go, dump and go, dump and go. So we're gonna add our egg. One egg, just like that. So now it's time to add the cheese. And according to the recipe, she said to add the, uh, the YouTuber that, on the ingredients. Um, I got everything added in so far, but the cheeses. The eggs in, she said use a half a cup of mozzarella cheese. And, and again, um, if you want more, put more. If you want less, put less. It's pretty much that simple. Like I said, there's no right or wrong answer. So right now I'm adding in the mozzarella cheese. And get it open. I mean, I hope you guys enjoy my videos because I take I take a lot of pride in what I do. I mean, the only reason why I hadn't been putting anything up in up until this recently for uh, too many videos on uh, what Ronnie's in a day because I didn't know if anybody really wanted to see what Ronnie's in a day. How I lost all my weight, then I started putting some up, and I noticed I started getting more uh, followers. That's a half a cup, by the way. You know, it might be one or two a little bit over, but it's fine. I, I'm not even sure how many grams that is until I actually weigh it up. We got our mozzarella cheese. We're still going to leave both cheeses out because we're going to be using them to top it off when you pull it out of the oven. And this is, a, as you can see, a fourth of a cup of a... I bought these plastic in the containers. I got them off of Amazon. I got a whole set of them for about 10 bucks. Got a, I love Amazon. Okay, so we got about a cup of uh, Parmesan cheese. That just goes right in and uh, seal the bag up. I right, just get right to it. Just keep mixing it up until you. It feels wet because it is wet, and it's like I said. But it, you know, it it's it's not that bad. When when I when I did the canned chicken meat, um, the the, the uh, overall chicken nice. Uh, Separated and took the water out of the can the best I could and then I took the uh, The canned chicken meat and I spread it out with on, on parchment paper and I dried it out in the oven for about 20 minutes But this recipe is different this one there You just mix all the ingredients like this and and that last one. I believe we used uh, gluten-free um, uh, Pork rinds for our breadcrumbs mixture and this does the call for pork rinds this calls for this type of recipe And again, I got this recipe from keto focus and I'll leave her link below the video But that's pretty good. So now that we got that all incorporated. We're gonna start forming our pizza Let's see if I can get that more centered into the camera my uh So you guys know what I'm doing And I, and I try to keep it as round as I can by the way Just kind of like that.
My wife doesn't do keto, she's, uh, but she does eat some foods that I make on keto and she does like some of them. So you should end up with something like this. If you got a nice round pizza pie thing that works out even better. And uh, I did go down to our favorite store to pick up some of this stuff up down at Ocean State Job Lab, some of those pizza pie tins, but they didn't have any in the store the day that I went to go buy any. I ended up buying the a lot of low pins, but not the one that I was look, looking for. So the next time I'm down there, if they happen to have any, I'll pick up some more low pins because you can pick them up pretty cheap over there. Pick. Uh, last time I was there, I picked up a half a dozen of these uh, uh, pizza pie pans for about a half a buck each, and uh, I really like going over there because they got a lot of great deals. And uh, so this is what you want to end up with something like this. Don't pay no attention to that. That's just from the uh, pepper and. Uh, it's all going to cook in, and uh, hopefully we'll get a nice, uh, good pizza out of this, and we know we are. So anyways, let's go in the kitchen and cook that, and uh, talk to you later when this is all completed. So it's been just about 15 minutes, and our pizza crust pizza is complete out of the oven there. It's got a little bit of brown going on over here, the sides. It smells really, uh, you can smell the garlic in the pizza. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the toppings on. And then we're gonna put it back in, and be careful, your pan will be hot, so make sure you get pot holders, which I have. And uh, yes, so put that on the cutting board and I'll show you how I'm gonna to top it off with my toppings. So we're gonna be using uh, for our choice of sauces, Ramos pizza sauce, homemade pizza. You see for the macros, it's very, very good uh, for the macros. It's got 40 calories and there's the rest of the ingredients, if you can see that. And typically what I'll do is I'll just uh, take a spoon and uh, it all depends on how saucy you like it. No, I just put a little bit on and just spread it out. Maybe add two or three good heaping spoonfuls. Just spread out the uh, pizza sauce. Spread it out. Maybe a couple more. And this is uh, very, very uh, good for you, by the way. There's very uh, low carbs on this. You can pretty much eat two or three of these whole pizzas like this and not feel too guilty about it. That's just the uh, tomato from the, uh, I'll probably put it, I'll probably put it, I think I'd put about a half a dozen uh, little scoops around my pizza. It's pretty good right about there. I don't want, I don't want to go all the way around to the outer edge because uh, I want it to be nice and golden brown around the edge. So we're all done with the spoon. So now it's time to actually uh, put the cheese and the toppings on the pizza. I'm gonna put a little bit of mozzarella cheese and Parmesan, just like this. There's no right or wrong answer as to how much. It all depends on how cheesy you want it. You remember our filling for the chicken has cheese on there already, so if, you know, if you're not concerned about your calories and your carbs, you, you can measure out what you want to put in, if you want to be that specific. Now we're going to put a little bit of palm. Again on the uh, Parmesan cheese here, the original YouTuber said to use grated, well I th didn't have grated, so I used the, uh, this kind. It's pretty close to being grated. Just like this. Spread it out, don't get on top of that pizza, pizza sauce. So we're done with the Parmesan cheese. We're gonna put just a little more mozzarella on top. And then we're gonna go bake that back in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes there until everything's all nice and melted on top. Just, just add a little more mozzarella. If I had to guess how much mozzarella cheese I use for the total pizza, it's probably about maybe four cups. And I'm gonna put some black olives. Now we bought these uh, these pearl uh, black olives, they're little plastic cups and they're already pre-sliced, which is really I like about them because uh, I don't have to deal with slicing them all up. So I'm just probably gonna use up the rest of the, rest of the olives and just spread them out a little bit. I mean, olives are really great for keto uh, food, friendly, 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 food friendly. Now I got a little bit of uh, chopped onions. I'm gonna use up the rest of these uh, from a bag I got. Just 
Again, this is just a store-bought brand, all chopped onions. It's just to use up the rest of the bag. And we got some peppers we're gonna be putting on for our choice of toppings. Again, the store-bought brand. I buy these for under a buck because it's a lot easier to, um, I don't have to deal with slicing everything all up and chopping it. I mean, if you want fresher, fresh, be my guest, but I do everything easy and simple. So this is, um, This is the uh, pizza that we're getting ready to put into the oven. We'll put this back in until the pizza uh, cheese is nice and uh, bubbly and ready to take out of the oven. And we'll bring it back up here and slice it and let you know how it tastes. But um, like I said, I've made this plenty of times before. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, we'll come back and give it a taste test when it's completed and when it's done, out of, when, it, when I pull it out of the oven. Okay, well our pizza just came out of the oven and I had a little issue with the uh, pan for some reason why it warped. So I probably had the stove up too high, but I didn't according to the uh, cooking directions. But the pizza is complete. It's, it's kind of greasy on the bottom there because of the chicken and it's tiny chicken, but I'm sure it'll be good to have. But I'm going to cut it up and uh, have a slice of it and see what happens. The cheese is all nice and melted as you can see. We'll cut it in different ways. It's cutting really easy. Okay, so we're back in the back room again. We just made uh, the pizza, came out of the oven. We put it in the oven for about uh, 15 minutes to melt the cheese. Uh, the pan warped a little bit. I should have put it on maybe 400, cut it down, or either, put, either that or put it in a broiler. But I just uh, melted the cheese down a little bit. I uh, just want to show you what the uh, crust looks like. Uh, it's, it's, kind of feel, it's kind of greasy on the bottom. Only because it's got a lot of water content to it. And uh, we're going to give it a taste test in a second here. I'm just wiping my, my hands because I want to grab a photograph of it. While I got the, while I got the uh, slice in my hands. And uh, yeah, so I'm just giving you my take on my... Uh, chicken and the crust pizza. Now this is the first time I made it kind of like her way. Well now, well guys, now we're gonna have a pizza taste test to see how it tastes. It's very tasty, I can taste the chicken. And uh, I can taste all the ingredients I put on and it's very flavorful. I'd definitely make this again, but what I would probably do next time I make this, I probably would add some breadcrumbs to it so it would be a little, or some almond flour mixed in with the chicken meat so it won't be so uh, moist because I'll show you on the back side of it. As you can see, I'm, I got it flipped upside down and it's staying on. Remember that's the uh, black for the, the, uh, for the pepper? I would have liked it a little more browner on the bottom, but uh, the texture of it, it's just like pizza dough and uh, it's a little moist on the bottom because of the cheese probably and uh, But that, that's what I choice the top is with peppers onions and uh, all black olives So I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think and if you try it, please let me know what you think and uh, Remember you guys are amazing don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And remember caring and sharing. And we're going to go finish this pizza. And probably have one or two more. And now I got enough pizza for tomorrow or Sunday if I want a little snack late at night time. But uh, I would definitely make this again. But like I said, the next time I make it, what I probably would do um, is probably add a little breadcrumbs to it to dry up some of the uh, moisture that was in with the, uh, the, that particular kind of chicken meat. But other than that, it's really good. Don't forget, sharing is caring.